Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about an Envato Elements review for this 2022. It's been for me since 2019. I have been using and I'm still using Envato Elements and I have probably have seen another videos about me talking about Envato Elements. Do I recommend it? Yes, but in which cases? And those are the cases that I want to focus in this video and for this review since I have received plenty of comments if it's not good if there's no if it's worth to pay in this yearly subscription and if you're a content creator or a website developer this of course it might be helpful in the case of content creators there might be cases that there will should be probably the the best option to choose another alternative here in about two elements Probably you already have seen, they have plenty of content or materials that you can use for videos. They are pretty useful. Also some music, but starting here with the music, that it's probably one of the pain points that I see here in Embato Elements, is that some of those are already registered here on, or pre-registered in YouTube. And I don't monetize my YouTube. Uh, with ads, but from the comments that I have received, there are some cases here in the Embato Elements music that you cannot monetize with such audio files, even though you can send a notification that you have the license, but you might get those notices. So for those cases in the music one, there is also story blocks. You can also, also see my Embato Elements against story blocks. They don't have that issue with the uh, music or you can actually send the notification that you have the rights. I haven't got any notification or any comments about the music on Storyblocks, but it's way easier to send the Storyblocks. I already sent, showed the proof in the other video. So that's a uh, issue here with Mbato Elements to consider that there are some musics pre-registered. So I uh, recommend to search for the music that are not having this notice to have a less a less number of issues. So that's a thing to consider here in Embato Elements. So in, for the case of music, Embato Elements won't be my top choice. But for video and stock video, of course. Also for the graphics, presentations. This is probably more of a use for those people who need to uh, use PowerPoint presentations. They have really good designs. But I don't think, that, or personally, I don't have Embato Elements as a top reason to use for the PowerPoint presentations or keynotes or Google Slides. But in case you need it, they can be useful. Photos. This is probably one of the good features that they have a plugin that I'm going to show you for WordPress that makes easier or set less work to do the importation of photos to WordPress, probably the negative things now with the for web developers that are focusing on having WebP is that the importation is done in JPG images. So it might be a little bit more, um, have more weight in the image. So that's a thing to consider, but it's, it's really easy to do the importation. And in the categories, I'm going here to WordPress and themes because mainly most people use Embato Elements of the or Theme Forest due to the WordPress themes. I don't recommend downloading the themes and just uploading them directly to WordPress because sometimes, and it was my issue while using the WordPress themes on, from Theme Forest, that it may take some time or it doesn't look just like the demo. Or even if you upload the demo, you will upload also some more files or images that you will need or it doesn't look like the same or it will take some time. So what I do recommend from Embato Elements is the use of the plugin. You can install it for free. That's another thing. They already have some free templates or here with a premium version, they have even more files or kits to be used in combination with Elementor. Elementor also you can use it for free or you can have the mix with Elementor Pro. Obviously, if you are mixing it with Elementor Pro, there will be more opportunities to have a better or more widgets 
to use. And it's really easy. You can just install, click and install the kit. I already have one installed. So I'm just going to sh show you. Once you install the kit, I'm also going to focus in another video again for this, for this new year, how it's done. Once you create a new post on Elementor, you can see here that it will be added, the Envato elements. And you can check out here for premium kits if you the ones to desire to install a new one. Here are the free ones. That actually the free ones are pretty good. And free blocks. So it gives a little bit more option for themes and templates for WordPress here on with the Envato Elements plugin. And once you install one kit, you will have it available here on the installed kits. And you will see the requirements if you need some other plugins. There's mostly are for free. You can if they already have the header and if you want to use those ones. You can also check out for the different pages. And this, this makes really easy the page creation or post creation. You can just you can click here, install template and wait for it. And once it's installed, you will see here the page. So it will be here a matter of changing the colors. So that it has like a more design to your needs. But it's basically almost here. Let's see. And here, let me see if I can add an image. I have here my image and instead of, of uploading, you go directly here to Envato Elements tab and you will have here the also the same images from Envato Elements. Let's say I want to add tech and I will add this one. And I have already here the image. If I want to change again the color, or light blue. Let's say I had I want to change the background color here to uh, and center here. This is just a quick and you just can be modifying again as well. If you want to add some more, you just go here to the Embato. You search for another one. It will be inserted above the other. Or let's yeah, click here. And again, now we have the other page structure so that you can have a different setup. So it's really easy. It's easier to use the Envato Elements plugin rather than uploading and then modifying the full theme. So I see a better advantage. And this is the one that I actually recommend to work with instead of using the themes. Since it's easier to build a website, because if you're a beginner or even for intermediate or even an advanced user of WordPress, starting from scratch with a theme takes time. And if you don't know that much, uh, you will have to search for YouTube videos and it will take a time to actually looks like how it, it's been seen here in the WordPress Envato market. So that's the, probably the main difference here with the Envato Market. The Envato Market, if you're only planning to use one theme, you're not building too many websites and you don't want to pay for a subscription, then okay, Envato Market it's, might be the option. But Envato, Envato Elements is really useful for those cases for the web page filters and also for importing images. Another thing that I want to talk about and that it's worth to mention because it's another of the questions that I have received plenty of times is that 
what about the license? I just want to download everything and stop using it. Here is really pretty clear. The future proof licenses, even if you unsubscribe. If you unsubscribe, you can't use items from Envato Elements anymore. So that means that you already have downloaded your file. You have created your digital uh, product, image, video, so on. Yes, those ones, the existing user that you have registered are still covered. So those ones, they're fine. But if you can sell and if you want to keep reusing, you won't have that license again. So here's pretty clear. And that's a thing to consider. What's an alternative for these ones and for those people who want to download and stop paying story blocks? You have the license for long life or so to say. Even if you stop paying, you can actually download, but they are also a, a subscription. And of course, as a business, they have to take care of their users and their business itself. Okay, so here it's more than clear. You can have the licenses are royalty free in perpetuity. Unlimited projects, there's no need to track how many times you have used your assets. So in case of licenses, I do think Storyblocks is even easier for the in comparison to Envato Elements. Licenses are valid worldwide and you can actually have a 20,000 indemnification and they are covers the usage for personal and commercial projects. So in terms of licenses, and if you don't want to worry about that site, then I would recommend you better story blocks. But if you're like me that you prefer, for me, I find fine because I am still using Embato Elements for, uh, from some clients for myself, I'm having that mix. So I'm still paying the yearly price. Of course, everyone wants to use or don't be paying that much probably for content creators. That's probably the, the main pain point that they have that I don't want to be paying a yearly price or a monthly subscription. I just want to pay once. I am not using that much of files very often. So probably in those cases, Storyblocks is a good alternative. There are other alternatives such as Monster One or even Motion Array for the video creators. This is focused more on, on for video. But in case of Embattle Elements that you're mixing content creation, website development, probably this is the the best one. And here is another thing to consider are the refunds. Given the nature of digital content, we do not generally offer refund. So please be aware of that. Also, another thing that I have in, in comments is that they don't offer a really good support that they, uh, the ones who had commented me, told me that they contact Embato Elements, but they don't get any fast replies or something like. So also have that in consideration. Personally, I only use the assets for myself. I have, I haven't got the need to contact support. So I have, I don't have really a complaint about that because I haven't tested out or haven't checked out for support, but please also have that in consideration. And this is a thing. Because probably, and probably I consider myself, we usually don't read that much of the terms and conditions, but this is an, a thing to be aware of because most, uh, most of the people, they say, okay, I want to pay the yearly subscription, but after half of the subscription, I'm not that really convinced. I want half of my money, let's say back. No, that won't happen. And that's also stated on, on the terms and conditions that if you pay for a yearly subscription, then you have access for the full year. So if you're not totally convinced, but if you still want to try it out, you can choose a monthly. And if you are convinced, then you change for the yearly subscription. That's the, that's my recommendation. If you're planning to buy Embato elements, 
Otherwise, if you're fully convinced and you don't mind like for the yearly subscription payment, and you just want to have all the files and use them for LD, any project or to know that you have a, a platform that you can have a, an, an access to those files, then Embato Elements worth it. So I hope that this Embato Elements review help you for this year, 2022. If you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write me. I have guided or tried to help for those people who have questions. And also if you're, they are not sure if Embato Elements is good enough for them, I give some other alternatives. We already have talked about Storyblocks, Monster One. There are also some other websites or for even higher quality images such as Adobe Stock or Getty Images, Shooter Stock. So I try to guide or try to if to say, okay, if what it's good or might not be really good in Batu Elements. Personally, I find it really good, especially because I mix it up with WordPress and probably that will be my main recommendation if you're more of a web developer and even also a content creator, then Embato Elements, yes, it's really useful. But if you don't want to really worry about the licensing, then there are other alternatives such as Storyblocks that might be a, a better option to use. Thanks for watching.